Oh hey guys, I'm Nicholas. As you can see, I'm a little busy completing a TV script right now. But I'm gonna give you five reasons why you should probably be studying media in New Zealand. Now it may seem unorthodox, but unlike the media industry in you know, Bollywood or Hollywood, there has been a constant rise in talent over the last few years in New Zealand. Taika Waititi being one of my personal favorites, and for all you Marvel fans, he's the dude that directed Thor Ragnarok. Film and media is still a growing field in New Zealand where not a lot of people opt for as a career path or education. Studying film is motivated by a number of factors, one of it being good quality education at world-renowned institutions. Let's have a chat with Dr. Kyle Barrett, the head of the Department of Screen and Media Studies at the University of Waikato. Screen and Media offers not just film production, but it offers also media design. Um, it also offers um, quite a high quality professional TV studio environment. Um, alongside that we have a really strong theoretical um, component to um, our various degrees where not only are students reflecting upon um, the work that they make but they reflect upon media worldwide for various theoretical perspectives. Um, basically what this can do is enable them to go out into the field and be thinkers rather than just makers. Um, employers want people to think they don't just want them to turn up and press a button on the camera, they want people to reflect upon what they're doing and how they're doing it, be very creative. So we actually offer those opportunities through our various uh, degrees. Well, there you have it. Well, for me, studying in New Zealand was motivated by its film equipment and its world-class technology. Film equipment range from green screens to a television broadcast studio to music studios with credible softwares, to computer labs with fantastic editing suits, to a range of film cameras, lights, drones, you name it. The facilities here at the university has helped a number of students complete their film projects that would otherwise be an expensive ordeal or impossible. Let's see what Screen and Media student Robert Linton has to say. The university provides an abundant amount of uh, equipment and facilities for all media students. Um, one thing that really I like is the TV studio where you can use a green screen and you have a variety of amount of lights that you can use. Um, and they also provide other facilities such as the music, uh, music studio and they have uh, a place where you can get out equipment so you can use lighting, cameras, auto recorders um, and many other uh, <laughs> variety of things. Uh, there's also the labs as well which they provide decent computers to use for um, all kind of footage uh, that you have for any filmmaker. And it's the uh, world-class technology that really helps uh, bring out the best of us for all filmmakers and the university provides all of that. Well, no, film and media isn't very widely pursued in New Zealand. But yes, there are a number of jobs that are available in the form of production houses, TV channels, news channels, or even startups that require media or graphic designers. Well, take me for example, I directed this video. Now for most this might not be a deal breaker, but studying in a diverse environment does bring perspective to your filmmaking. For me, studying in a classroom with students from different ethnic backgrounds definitely influenced my lighting and my camera techniques. Plus, working with students from different walks of life does improve your understanding of the world and is showcased through your filmmaking. Now, cost is a tricky subject. Compared to most Western countries, New Zealand is far, far cheaper when it comes to gaining that full international experience in film. Pursuing a bachelor's degree in screen media studies at the University of Waikato would cost anyone 29,705 New Zealand dollars a year. That's two semesters into three years. Wouldn't this scene be super cinematic on a film camera?